What's going on guys? Len here with Late Model Restoration. Today I'm going to be showing you what it takes to give you a general idea on installing an intake manifold and needed hardware onto your electronic fuel injected 302 or 351 base pushrod Mustang. Topping off any custom engine build boils down to your intake manifold. We offer quality intake manifolds from industry leading brands such as SVE, Trickflow, Edelbrock, and Holly, all of which feature different power band performances, custom finishes, and different throttle body openings to match the expectations of your particular engine build. When bolting on your new intake manifold, hardware is obviously needed. We carry a complete upper and lower gasket kit for small or large port heads. Depending on your intake manifold combo, most brands require specific upper to lower intake manifold gaskets, which are usually included with any intake manifold kit. Although sometimes an upper to lower intake manifold spacer is required when running taller valve covers for proper roller rocker clearance. Of course, that raises the upper intake, which could then cause hood clearance issues as well. So it is extremely important to keep all of that info in mind when selecting an intake manifold for your build. Any intake manifold you do decide to go with can be bolted down with our exclusive lower intake bolt kit. These bolts are made by ARP exclusively for us here at Late Model Restoration. They are a direct replacement for OEM intake bolts, which will feature a black oxide coating for longevity and will have the stud and nut for use with factory 86 to 95 heater tubes. In this particular video, we're going to show you the general idea and installation procedures when installing an intake manifold and its components on your 302 or 351 engine. In this particular video, we used ARP hardware, SVE's intake manifold, and Mr. Gasket gaskets to assemble this portion of our 302. Before you begin, it is in your best interest to have a clean working area and to clean all of your parts prior to install. Be sure your cylinder head and valve train is assembled. That video can be viewed by clicking the link in the video description. To begin installation, start by aligning your cylinder head to lower intake gasket with the tab on the head gasket. If you notice, when aligned with the tab, the gasket does not align with the intake ports on the cylinder head. If this happens, simply trim the tabs and apply a small amount of gasket adhesive or RTV to the cylinder heads. Apply some RTV at the corners where the cylinder head and engine block meet. Align the gaskets with the intake and coolant ports. Then apply pressure to ensure the gasket adhesive holds the gasket. Run a bead of RTV across the front and rear of the engine block. This bead of RTV will run between the cylinder heads and ideally needs to be about a quarter inch in diameter. Position the lower intake onto the cylinder heads. Before installing the lower intake bolts, apply some oil to the threads and underneath the head of the bolt. Loosely thread all the lower intake bolts. For you 86 to 95 guys, be sure and install the stud into the passenger side, second to last bolt hole on the lower intake manifold. Starting on the inside and working your way out, torque the bolts in two steps. The first step is 15 foot-pounds, and the second is 25 foot-pounds. At this point, our engine is ready to go in the car. However, we'll go ahead and show you the needed steps and torque specs for the upper intake manifold. Position the gasket over the intake ports. Apply blue Loctite to the upper and lower intake manifold studs and finger tighten. Lightly apply engine oil to the threads on the upper to lower intake manifold bolts and finger tighten. Torque the bolts from inside out to 15 foot-pounds. Double and triple check everything, and that completes the intake portion of our 302 build. If you want to see more knowledgeable videos for your Fox body or pushrod Mustang, then you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All of the needed links are in the video description for you guys, so head on over to Late Model Restoration and pick up your intake manifold and components for your 302 or 351 based engine. 